What's, what's your take on Liverpool then? A lot of talk about the effect of the signings and so on. Where are they in their development, they hope, to becoming challengers for the Champions League? Well, nothing's ever as bad as it seems and nothing's ever as good as it seems. The easiest thing in the world, and I've seen a lot of you know, analysis of this over the last 24, 48 hours, is the signings have been poor. I, I don't go along with that theory. When I think of you know, St Stuart Downing, I've played against him. This is a good player. Adam, for five, six million quid, I think it's a good signing. Enrique's done well. Bellamy, I think Carroll, there's more to come. You know, he's a good young player. And, and you know, Jordan Henderson, my brother, uh, trained him with the under-21s, had a lot of good things to say about him. I think a bigger problem for Liverpool at the moment is an identity and a set style of play for me. You know, I, I don't know how they're going to play. When I, think, when I close my eyes... And they have this vision of, of the title-winning teams. And that's what Liverpool have got to become. Liverpool Football Club is built on championships. They've got to become champions. And I think of title-winning teams, even going back to Kenny Dalglish's Blackburn, Wilcox, Ripley, Shearer, Sutton. I think of the Omri, Perez, Cole, you know, Lundberg team. I, th I know how they're going to play. I know, I can think, I can vision, I can feel it inside me. With Liverpool, when I watch them, I don't know if Henderson's going to be on the right, I don't know if he's going to be on the left, I don't know if he's going to be in the centre, I don't know if Cout's going to be right, centre, left. They changed the team an awful lot. Did they play direct to Carroll? Did they play short through to uh, Suarez and Bellamy? And it's that lack of identity at the moment that I think is a more worrying issue than the actual signings. I think they lack wide players. You know, I don't think for 15 years when I played against Liverpool, apart from Steve McManaman in those early years, I never felt feared. You know, they signed a lot, Babel, your Pongols, your... Kewels, you know, Rieras, Rieras your, your Jufs, Elad's Jufs, and you're thinking to yourself, none of them quite got to where they should be. And it's about repetition in movements. I can't visualise Liverpool actually repeating things on a football pitch, patterns of play. You know, they're like anything, they're like human beings, football players. You think of the Arsenal team with Vieira, with uh, Henri, with Perez running inside and Cole always going around there. I don't visualise anything of that with Liverpool. I think we're all the same. You know, Friday night, chippy tea, Saturday, Chinese, Sunday, roast beef dinner. You. you get relationships, you get used to things, you get used to well, well, repeating things. What's chippy tea got to do with the way Liverpool play? Is the point you're making in summary that to win titles, you have to have a set pattern you have and to identity? Have set, I don't think Kenny Dalglish at this moment in time has got a set pattern of play. I don't think he's got a routine in that Liverpool team. I don't think he's fixed on 4-5-1, 4-4-2, 4-4-1-1. I think other teams potentially have more of an identity in Liverpool at this moment in time.